वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स आई एम जस्ट कंटिन्यूइंग द सेशन ऑफ वॉलेटाइल ऑयल जनरल वी स्टार्टेड विद लेक्चर वन फॉर फार्म डी स्टूडेंट्स and that i'm just continuing with the enfluorich method so we have seen all type of extraction methods and we are just continuing about the extraction method about enfluorich method which is very much important for the volatile oil uh, isolating the extracting the volatile oil from the leaf or a flower speci specially it was an interesting method of enfluorage method which get which we will get lots of products especially pomades concretes or concentrates and uh, resinoid products specifically we can get absolutes can be prepared and uh, pure oil can be obtained by means of this method and uh, we should know some of the names especially chasses they have asked what is chasses in a short answers so here in farm d students we have only 5 marks and 10 marks question so anyhow we should explain about certain terms and certain uh, procedures which we are following specifically we should mention so it will be more interesting and also you will be getting easy uh, for scoring mark and it will be impress the evaluator so a glass plate is covered with a thin coating of specially prepared and odorless fat by this method that is a, when you prepare a thin coating a fat odorless fat specifically which is selected for preparing this thin layer in a glass plate that is called a chassis in the process you can see the picture it's a wooden uh, square uh, a box or a open shadow box where we can see a glass plate which is coated with a thin film of odorless fat and over which we have kept some petals of rose flower which we can see anyone can identify which can be kept in that fat and is he the fats are having an efficiency or having a tendency to absorb or to remove the volatile principle the fragrance or the terpene which is present in that particular botanical which you kept over it is possible and you are preparing a thin film of fat odorless fat which is even named as chasses chasses i hope the student will not forget this so chasses is a very important point which you have to remember in the procedure of enfluorich method the fresh cut flowers are individually laid on to the fat which in time becomes saturated with their essential oil you know what is essential oil essential volatile principle which is present in the botanicals so it becomes the fat which is kept in a thin layer which you are completely laying down the botanicals laying down the flower petals as shown in the picture the, the, the essential oil is get absorbed by the fat which is kept as a thin layer which is called chasses and become saturated with essential oil the flower are 
re renewed that means you once it is removed and we know that experience makes them to find out the time limit which has been given for the absorption of the essential oil towards the chaste is towards the fat thin layer of fat immediately it will be renewed that means it will be removed and you can keep the fresh petals over it like this the small plates you can see the plate wooden plate shallow plate sidely you have the frame and the plates are made to make a thin layer of fat chasses can be made eventually the fragrance fragrance saturate the fat or saturated fat known as pomade even the pomades can also be marketed pomades are available in the market like hair cream it makes the hairs to shine and gives a beautiful flavor and this also possible they are called as pomade may be treated with alcohol to extract the oil from the fat so this pomade which contain the fat contain the oil essential oil and fat can be using alcohol you can remove the essential oil in the alcohol and then the alcohol is used as an extracting solvent so that alcohol can be evaporated and can be removed and you can prepare a pure concentrated oil and also absolutes can be also prepared for you you will get the absolute oil absolute oil full concentrated oil is also possible to prepare from there an alcohol content alcohol containing concentrates are also possible to prepare so you have studied some of the products which can be prepared by means of enfluorex technique you are using fat and you are making it a thin film which is called chasses and you are laying down all the fat petals or the botanicals over it and once it is absorbed in the fat and the fat is called pomades and pomades can also be used as a cosmetic preparations and it can be sold for it and even the pomades can also be used you can apply alcohol in it and you can remove the essential oil and you can prepare concentrates and you can prepare even removing the alcohol you can prepare a complete pure oil essential oil can be also obtained so you see this is the simple procedure which you can remember even there is hot and fluorix technique cold and fluorix technique cold means you can just keep it over in the cold form in hot hot and fluorix technique you can macerate you can heat the solvent we can heat the not solvent we can heat the melt the fat and also the botanicals can be added to the fat and it can be made into hot so that easily you can remove the essential oil into the fat and prepare the pomades and from the pomade you can prepare the absolutes and uh, by using alcohol you can remove the essential very simple for the students to remember and to write in a proper procedures and proper points if you remember if you write the names properly you will get the full mark for enfluorix technique there are many types of enfluorix technique nowadays available which which is even if you go for reference in trees and events or brad and taylor which is given these two books are very very interesting books which is given you may can go for reference in the library and they are very standard books which is having more techniques which can be available by means of spraying the fats over the botanicals when a hot form by using nematic spray is also possible there are many type of nematic type of enfluorix technique nowadays available in the market beautiful instruments present the technology are more developed but still we should know the old technique the basic principle behind how they can use the enfluorix enfluorix means students to remember fat is used in a thin film which is called a chasis and it can be kept in the it can the petals can be kept over it and it can absorb the fats are having the eligible ability 
to absorb the essential oil from the botanicals and then it can be separated by means of using ethanol as a solvent and when you remove the solvent if you remove and you can get a con concentrate in the ethanol and ethanol can be removed and by that you can get a concentrated essential oil absolute absolute even absolute oil with ethanol can also be obtained and also pure alcohol pure oil essential oil can also be prepared by means of removing the solvent ethanol in cold and full rich a large frame plate of glass called as chassis is smear small smear thin layer as a layer of animal fat usually lard or tallow from pork or beef respectively and allowed to set like this and the botanical matters usually petals or the whole flower as shown in the picture is then placed on the fat and its scent its essence its oil volatile principle is allowed to diffuse into the fat over a course of days one to three days and even it can be kept it's a, it's a manual it's a french people are they are doing long back it's not a new a new type of technique which is used now is a very old technique which they have done and they have prepared a lot of perfumes perfume industry by this method the process is then repeated by replacing the spent spent means the used botanicals or renewed botanicals with fresh ones until the fat has reached a desired degree of fragrance saturation this procedure was developed in southern france in 19th century for production of high grade concentrates in hot and flourish hot and flourish solid fats are heated and botanical matter is stirred into the fat spent that means the the fat which the fat which has taken all the essential oil and the botanicals which is already f uh, given all the essential or repeated strain from the fat and replaced with a fresh material replaced with a fresh material until the fat is saturated with fragrance this method is considered as oldest known procedure for preserving plant fragrance substances in both instant once the fat is saturated with fragrance the meaning is hot and cold the both instant means hot and cold it is then called as enfleurich pomade enfleurich pomade you can see the enfleurich pomade which is available in a shot white mouth bottle for hair or hair cream brill cream this all comes as a pomade understand the flavor which is prepared by means of the method which chasses and the pomades which is saturated with the essential oil the fat which is saturated with the essential oil is called pomades the enfleurich pomade are either solid as it, uh, it it was or it could be further washed or soaked in ethyl alcohol ethanol to draw the fragrant molecule in the alcohol the alcohol then separated from the fat as i explained now and allowed to evaporate and remove the solvent alcohol leaving behind the absolute of the botanical matter absolute oil essential oil of the flower or the leaf or whatever may be the botanicals which you have used the spent fat is usually even after removing by means of alcohol absolute the fat is not thrown that fat that that solid fat which already the we have removed the essential oil by means of using ethanol is used as a so is used to make soap and since it is light a relative fragrance so it can be used for preparation of soap this is a picture which they are using hot with a macerating enfleurich method in flu infusion macerating of hot and fluorage method heating in a big vessels solvent extraction in essential oil 
Essential oil can be extracted by using solvents such as petroleum ether, methanol, ethanol or hexane and is often used as fragile material such as jasmine jasmine you know this flower very jasmine jasmine flavor beautiful flavor jasmine hyacinth this is not very common but there is different colors of hyacinth is there gray that is cream colors pink color violets and rose colors are also available is a beautiful flavor which has narcissus 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 not narcissus you can say nars narcissus you see this flower yellowish flower and also slight uh, creamish flowers are also available tuberose these all are common which can be prepared by means of such solvent which we can extract which could be able to handle with heat and which which could not be sorry which would not be able to handle with the, the steam distillation their essential principle may be get spoiled or deteriorated so we can go for enfleurage technique so enfleurage technique is preferred for these type of flowers and these type of um, essential oil constituents which can be prepared a solvent extracted <coughs> excuse me <coughs> a solvent extracted <coughs> excuse me a solvent extracted essential oil is very concentrated and is very close to the natural fragrance of material used <coughs> although solvent extraction is used extensively some people that means usually that means commonly do not believe that it should be used for aromatherapy why they say that sometimes some solvents which you are using for extracting this essential oil may be present there and it is giving some influence for an aromatherapy it gives some adverse actions especially benzene when you are using benzene because it's a carcinogenic solvent they have identified So suppose you are using a solvent for extracting essential oil of volatile substances this benzene may be present in certain percentage with the essential oil which causes some adverse action benzene is having the the it's having carcinogenic in nature that's why there is one this the pro, a disadvantage which we want to mention about this solvent solvent should be completely removed or you should use proper solvent proper solvent which is not having any type of adverse actions some so that's what we want to say although solvent extraction is used extensively some people do not believe that it should be used for aroma aromatherapy oil since a residue since some percentage of solvent a residue of solvent could be present in the finished product some reports cite a solvent residue of 6 to 20 percentage still present this was normally the case when benzene was the standard solvent used because i as i told benzene is having benzene is a carcinogenic in uh, effect so that's why side effect so when exane as a solvent material the solvent residue goes down to about 10 ppm and uh, this is extremely low concentration of solvent in resultant product as mentioned benzene is no longer used as an extraction method as since it regard as a carcinogenic ca- cancer forming nature that's why we are not using benzene in this extractions when the plant material has been treated with the solvent it produces a waxy aromatic compound referred to as cons that is concrete that's what i told you. referred to as concrete 
so you can you can see concrete pomade absolute pure essential oil so there are many products which you should remember available in volatile oil principles isolated from botanicals extraction method other methods you can see even i am just giving other method the use of hyper carbon dioxide extraction is a fairly new way of extracting essential oil from botanical material and through a bit of expensive side does yield good quality oil it gives good quality but still still little expensive carbon dioxide becomes hypercritical at 30d 33 degree celsius you may be knowing about the uh, the critical point of a gas and liquid solid so which is a state which is not really gas or liquid but it has qualities of both and it is an excellent solvent carbon dioxide liquid carbon dioxide to use it extraction of essential oil since the low temperature is a volatile substance so we are using low temperature it is liquid carbon dioxide so you will get very good product without any affecting by means of more temperature which is used required for fact that the process is near to the instantaneous the carbon dioxide is furthermore inert there is an advantage and therefore does not chemically interact with the essential that is being extracted to remove the carbon dioxide solvent and you simply need to remove the pressure under which it is kept so the procedure is simple but it is expensive the process has to take place in a closed chamber for the hypercritical pressure required for carbon dioxide is 200 atmosphere that is 200 times the pressure to the normal atmosphere to achieve this type of pressure some heavy duty stainless steel that means that is expensive equipment is required and this is very high capital investment is required for this extraction method advantage is there but it is expensive so in a chart when you go far to know about if you see in steam distillation you can get the product of essential oil distilled water and you are using distillation water and solvent extraction and water absolute you are getting hydro oil content components hydrosol is you are obtaining that is also a cosmetic product which is available rose water which is available it's an it's also prepared by distill distillation solvent extraction you will get cons that is concrete as we have discussed solvent extraction when you use you are getting concrete and alcohol extraction then comes absolutes so this is also possible for you to get and alcohol extraction directly you will get resinoids extraction by fat enfluorescence technique you will get pomades and again alcohol extraction can be done in the pomades and you will get pomade absolutes and in carbon dioxide the extraction by carbon dioxide liquid carbon dioxide essential oils can be obtained in a pure oils can be obtained. but it is expensive technique so these all the techniques which can be we have discussed in different manner how to extract the volatile oil better to remember and to make new new references apart from what is in my lecture you have many new instruments even it is possible you can go for reference of reading how to extract in the latest technique or latest instruments which is possible for isolation of oils fixed oils not fixed oils volatile oils from the botanicals four main types of volatile oils after in the extraction which we can remember that is con con that is concretes pomades resinoids absolutes and also hydrosol water can also be a by product in steam distillation process which is slightly hidden in my picture i am not going to waste my time just like it's it's not a big issue just you can see here i can escape and just this one is 
a little if I lower down and it is possible so when you are even doing for lecture you can use this type of animation and also it is possible it's good for you to have a practice to do this type of lectures students can practice now itself hydrosol is a sweet water can be add and be added in this product list as a byproduct in steam distillation rose water which we have discussed like this which is also available concretes there are just an example i have taken contain 50% of wax and 50% of essential oil like jasmine and also elang elang is a chinese product which can also be concentrate that is sorry concrete volatile oil which contain 80% of essential oil and 20% of wax and advantage of concretes they are more stable and concentrate than pure essential oil than pure essential oil they are more stable because of presence of some fat substances pomad is a greasy or a waxy substance that is used in ha hair style or style hair shiny hair pomad makes hair look silky and shiny and does not dry it out because it contains fats and with flavor it is last longer than more hair care products taking up several washes to remove but this is easy to remove and this is pomads are very good like this which is available in the market with good flavor and it is gives shining to the hair there are many products are available this is just to show you about the a method of preparation of pomades by means of cold and flourish technique true pomades are volatile oil products known as the enflourish hot or cold technique enflourish is used just now we have discussed it is a repetition used to obtain the aromatic materials from flowers containing volatile oil to produce perfume long after they are cut from the plant and resinoids this type of resinoids you can see the solids which we have shown very um, resinoids these products are prepared by natural resinoids materials extracted from hydrocarbon solvents using petroleum ether or hexane resinoids are prepared from the dead organic materials typical resino re, resinous matters as are balsam balsam peru balsam and or benzoin resins mastic and amper and oleoresins like capybara balsam turpentine and oleo gum resins frankincense and myrrh or example frankincense myrrh these all students should write some examples of resinoids they also comes under in volatile oil products so you should know the names of pomades concretes absolutes pure oils pure essential oils resinoids these all the products <coughs> which you should know and hydrosols so you can write more when you read more there will not be any there will not be necessary for you to <coughs> worry about any type of questions which they have asked resinoids are employed into the perfumery industry as fixative to prolong the effect of the fragrance absolutes these are our absolutes you see what is absolute which we have discussed again i have repeated an absolute is obtained from the concrete by a second process of solvent extraction from concrete you are removing the complete solvent using pure alcohol ethanol in which the unwanted wax is only slightly soluble absolute can also further processed to molecular distillation which removes the last trace of non volatile matter so the alcohol is recovered by evaporation which requires a gentle vacuum towards the end of the process because you have to have a low temperature with low temperature we have to evaporate the volatile oil so vacuum distillation can also be used some absolute however will still remain traces on the ethanol so as at 
that two percentage or less than not recommended for therapeutic work because of these impurities. Isolation of volatile oils. The oil obtained by distillation containing number of mono and sesquiterpenes. The monoterpenes, hydrocarbons, are distilled out first into oxygenated derivative by fractional distillation. Other methods like physical methods, chemical methods of even chromatographic technique are also used for isolation, separating them. Column chromatography can also be applied to separate these compounds in large quantities. They are even, even go for HPLC minute quantities and also nowadays there are ultra high performance liquid chromatography techniques are also there to identify and to separate the compounds. The chemical methods like treating the oil with sodium bisulfite, this chemical method you should remember students, and phenyl hydrazine, Tilden reagent and the Grignard reagent isolates the compounds of essential oil can be done or terpenes. Suitable adsorbents, suitable adsorbents that is selection in the in the separation of in the chromatography are used in chromatography for elution of chromatogram of isolated compound. You should select the adsorbent. You should select the adsorbent for the column. Silica gel G or silica gel number 20 or 120 or 60 or 80 or, silly or aluminum hydroxy gel, or aluminum or a stationary phase. What type of stationary phase should be used is main important for you to even gels can be used for you to have a gel permeation chromatography can also be performed for separating or isolating the compounds of volatile oil from other principles. The properties of terpenoids, this is about the chemistry behind, we should know about some properties of terpenoids, some properties of volatile oil. The terpenoids are the main basic principle behind the chemical structure of a volatile oil. The most of the terpenoids are colorless liquid which are lighter than water and boil between 150 to 180 degrees centigrade. Few terpenoids are solids which are lighter than water, volatile in steam, usually highly refractive and insoluble in water, but soluble in organic solvents. Many of these are optically active. They are having chiral carbon atoms usually isoprene unit units but still they have chiral carbon atoms which can have an optically they are optically active compounds. Number three the point which you should know the properties of terpenoids they are unsaturated compounds that you know that they are made up of isoprene unit in the initial itself an isoprene unit that is isopendyl pyrophosphate or a dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate they have double bonds unsaturated compound and conjugated system. They used to have UV absorption of the light also. Open chain or a cyclic and one or more carbon atom rings are present. They are bicyclic, monocyclic, tricyclic compounds are also available in terpenes. Having one or more double bonds, consequently terpenoids undergo addition reaction because they have double bond, they can go for addition reaction with hydrogen, halogen, halogen acids, etc. Some of them from hydrated, they are form, they form equally characteristic addition product with NO, NOCl and NOBr. These addition products are formed to be useful in the identification of terpenoids. A number of addition products have antiseptic properties. So you have to remember about the chemical component. It is very very simple. It contains isoprene units which contains double bonds. 
so that it can go for hydrated reaction and so that the double bonds can accept hydrogen and even they can go for NO, NO addition products, NO Cl addition product, NO Br addition product and they can be useful for identification of terpenoids and they have antiseptic properties in due to this addition properties in chemical nature. They undergo polymerization and dehydration in the ring. As they have olefin bonding, they are olefin, double bond, olefin bonds, they are very easily oxidized nearby, nearly by all the oxidizing agent. A number of terpenoids are liable and hence readily isomerized in the presence of acid into more stable forms. On thermal decomposition, most of the terpenoids yield isoprene, isoprene unit. I have told isoprene. Isoprene means five carbon atom compounds, which you might have studied in the basic biosynthetic pathways of acetyl pathway which is used for preparing, which you used for forming terpenoids and also which is very much responsible to production of steroids. So which is isoprene units means like isopendyl pyrophosphate or dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate which will join together and you might have known about the 10 carbon atom of and is about the gerinyl pyrophosphate and gerinyl pyrophosphate additional of 1,5 isopendyl pyrophosphate will give fornicyl pyrophosphate. Fornicyl pyrophosphate, 15 member carbon atom will join, two compounds will give squalene and from squalene only you are getting steroidal compounds, various steroidal compounds which is sterols, plant sterols are produced by in this manner. So we should know about terpenoids. They are also basically made up of these isoprene units. So terpenoids will undergo heating. It will give isoprene units, the five carbon atom compound. You can see this is, this is actually an isoprene unit. This two CH3, which one double bond and one CH3. This is actually pentyl, pentyl phosphatase. If you are phosphatase, then you can say pentyl. Penta, pentene because it has five carbon atom with two double bonds a conjugate double bond system so you can say pentene isoprene and even you can see this double bond shifting to the straight line then you can see dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate allyl compound also is possible it's also possible to get so classification of terpenes, when you see there is, if you have 10 carbon atoms with 2 isoprene unit monoterpene, 15 carbon atom with 3 isoprene unit is sesquiterpene, 20 carbon atom, 4 isoprene unit is diterpene, and 30 carbon atoms and 6 isoprene unit that is triterpene, 40 carbon atoms and 8 isoprene units that is called tetraterpenoids, and you can see 10 carbon atoms, that's 50 carbon atoms and 10 isoprene units, there is pentaterpenes. Usually more than 40 carbon atoms or more than 8 isoprene units, they are said to be polyterpenoids. So 5 and 8, 5 carbon atom and 8 hydrogen with n times is designed as the isoprene units and terpenoids. Types of volatile oil which is present, there are alcohol volatile oils which is present in menta, cardamom, coriander and even you can see sandalwood oil. You see here also, I want to just to show about the rose oil, it's not very much seen. Just I am pulling down and now we can see clearly about rose oil. Rose oil sandalwood oil which is present actually santalol and is all alcohol all alcohol volatile oil aldehyde we are talking about the functional group present in the terpene volatile oil principle like cinnamon oil cinnamon lemon or lemon peel which contain lemon oil orange oil citronellol geraniol which is present there and citronellol Fernisol and lemongrass oil, bitter almond oil also present of aldehyde volatile oil. 
yes, ester volatile oil example guatheria lavender mustard and hydrocarbon volatile oil turpentine black pepper ketone volatile oil caraway which is also comes under in umbrellaceous fruits like jeeraga caraway fennel coriander caravon lemonin and spermacmit bouchu spearmint sorry spearmint spearmint bouchu camphor musk kevit oil and oxide volatile oil kinopodium eucalyptus sinior sinior is present in eucalyptus that's why i given in the bracket phenolic ether, ether oil phenolic compound ether oil anise fennel nutmeg and phenol volatile oil purely you can see phenol ether is we told fennel anise and nutmeg and when you take phenol volatile oil clau eugenol is the main principal phenolic compound thyme is also another thyme oil which contain phenolic volatile oil this is by the principles and the classic monocyclic lemonin which occurs this is about cyclic monocyclic which is present in citrus fruit mint thyme that is lemonin the structure you can see lemonin bicyclic alpha pinin found in the lemon anise eucalyptus thyme you know eucalyptus thyme and fennel which is bicyclic you can see two cycles in the, in the chemical structure itself you can see even camphor is also bicyclic i did not show the camphor structure lemonin and alpha pine are the biosynthesis of terpene pathway you can find out in mevalonic acid pathway chamasin or chamasulin sorry chamasulin is sesquiterpene three isoprene units sesquiterpene of bicyclic example you can see this monoterpenes like my mercine two isoprene unit monocyclic terpene two isoprene unit lemonin and you can see the alpha pinin bicyclic it is also a monoterpene but it has bicyclic two isoprene units and another example of anitol anisoil and uh, this also monoterpene cinnamon aldehyde cinnamon oil monoterpene example eugenol which is present in a phenolic type of or terpene eugenol in clove oil and this is a picture which i want to show is in africa in hem there is hemba lady preparing perfume is a picture and this is very old picture which i shown in ancient egyptian 3000 years back itself they have the picture in tombs or in the pyramids they have seen this this type of egyptians they are more egyptians ladies they used to apply the pomades directly to the heads you can see the hairs are shining by means of pomades they prepare by means of this pomades heating the pomades with botanicals and applying to the hair with the fats shine the hair easy to remove and good flavor that's what the egyptians picture so in the next class we will see in detail about certain examples like mentha clove we have discussed almost we have discussed separately i have given a class in the clove cinnamon is also available but fennel is also available i will give you a separate lecture for coriander fennel and what is the difference between coriander and fennel even caraway also comes in the same category of umbelliferaceous fruits caraway anise a uh, fennel which we are very commonly used in the food uh, preparations but anyhow we'll see in the detail in the next coming classes thank you very much have a great day